Hi, I'm Shalina and welcome to my kitchen here in Southampton. I have a flat overlooking the marina in Ocean Village, so I get to really relax here. And it's the place where I do all of my cooking, my recipe testing, and it really is the heart of my home. I'm gonna show you how to make a really delicious recipe for Eid, which is called Um Ali. It's just really, really easy. And actually easy recipes are the thing for me because I'm a working mum, I've got a four-year-old daughter, and things just get hectic. And this really is, a real celebration dish, but with none of the faff, basically. And the origins are Egyptian. If you can imagine a bread and butter pudding, so it's very, very forgiving. So if you don't quite get the recipe right, or you add too much cream or whatever, it works perfectly fine. I've done this recipe so many times. So I've got two packets of phyllo. Um Ali means the mother of Ali. And as far as I know, she was a mother of an emperor in Egypt. And she was asked to prepare a really, really delicious pudding. And this is how it came about. All I'm doing is I'm concertining the phyllo so I can get like layers. And those roughly layers are gonna create like a beautiful rose centerpiece. So all I'm doing is just layering all the way through. Just keep going. If you can see, you're making all of these wonderful kind of kind of grooves where all the milk and stuff is gonna sit into it. If you want the recipe, the link is in the video description. So the traditional recipe is um, the phyllo pastry is baked beforehand so it becomes really crispy and then it's kind of crunched up and then placed into the baking dish. So this method is a little bit abstract but there's a reason why I do it because I actually think it just looks really, really beautiful when you layer it in such a way to create like a rose. A lot of the time for Eid, you have like beautiful centerpieces and often enough, it's very convivial. Everyone's sort of left to fend for themselves and grab a plate and get the food. And I just think that this works really well this way. So there may be Egyptians out there that have got something to say about this approach, but I don't mind because it is a little bit different. So once all the phyllo pastry is in, as you can see, in my, in my mind, I've created this beautiful kind of rose kind of centerpiece, if you can see. And once we nestle in some of those rose petals, sultanas and almonds, it's gonna be so delicious. So all I'm doing is kind of uh, a bit like origami. I'm just kind of opening up some of those petals. And we've got some melted butter here. So I'm just gonna be using a pastry brush. And you wanna make sure that all of that butter is covered over the top of the phyllo because what's going to happen is when it bakes you want to make sure it bakes kind of fully and it goes really really golden brown and that butter is really essential for this some of the recipes often use ghee as well so if you have ghee that will work really really well so just brush that butter all the way into those grooves make sure it's fully wet Eid is not a time to care about calories by the way so if anyone's wondering it is a time for excessiveness, I suppose, and just indulgence, really. Perfect, and what you now need to do is bake this in the oven for around 20 minutes. You wanna make sure this gets really golden and crispy, then afterwards we're gonna introduce the liquid, which is gonna create this kind of bread and butter pudding type effect. So that's gonna go straight into the oven, okay? So whilst the phyllo pastry is in the oven cooking, it's a time to get like all the cream mixture ready. You don't need any extra sugar because we're using condensed milk, but if you can imagine a bread and butter pudding, it's got sweetness running through it. So this is a bit of a cheat that I found. So I put in some milk. So I've got full fat milk in here. I'm gonna use the condensed milk, which adds that natural sweetness. So just half a tin, let's get that in. Lovely, mmm, delicious. And then we're going in with our double cream. And once all the liquid is in there, just give it a little whisk, just to make sure that the condensed milk is kind of thoroughly whisked through. And I did say this recipe is easy. That's literally all the hard labor, okay? So all I'm now gonna do is grab the Um Ali that's been baking, and we're now gonna cover it in that wonderful creamy mixture. Look how gorgeous that looks. This is exactly what you're looking for. So you'll end up with like really lovely kind of golden brown tops. And then the inside is gonna be sort of half baked, which is perfect because you'll end up with this kind of squishy base and then a nice crispy top. What we're now gonna do is we're gonna pour all of this over and it's gonna kind of sit in between those grooves. You'll hear a sizzle, which means we are on the path for a beautiful pudding. 
There's nothing more beautiful than bubbling cream and phyllo pastry and butter. Okay, so now just set that to one side. So I'm gonna go in with the flaked almonds and all I'm gonna do is just sort of scatter those. And this needs to bake again. So I put the almonds first because they're the ones that sort of like to toast pretty quickly. So I like to get them sort of sunken into the golden liquor. Okay, so in with the sultanas. And what will happen is some of them will get really, really juicy and plump. The ones that are kind of sunken into that creamy mixture. And then the other ones are gonna start to kind of caramelize and brown. What I absolutely adore about this is a combination of rose petals and pistachio. The rose petals will go in later, but I do need some pistachios for now. I'm just gonna take some and then just coarsely chop them. This is the first time I get to chop in this recipe. That's how easy it is, okay? So just run your knife carefully through, just being kind of as easy as it goes. And you just wanna have some kind of quite sturdy bits. You wanna kind of see all of that green and feel it when you eat it as well. So that is perfect for me. And all I'm gonna do is just tumble that into those grooves and we're gonna reserve some more of all of those toppings for after once it's cooked. Oh, it smells so good already. And that's now gonna take another 10 minutes into the oven at the same temperature. So Eid is a really beautiful time of the year. We have two Eids a year and typically what happens the morning of Eid, you put on your brand new clothes, we have something sweet and then we go to the mosque. You go and meet your friends and family. The day is spent eating eating at various households. But obviously, because of lockdown, it's not been the same. This will be our fourth Eid that we're celebrating within a kind of lockdown environment. But this year, we're gonna go to a park and have all the kids play and all of us just relax and share food across all different nationalities. That looks amazing. Look how simple it is, really. Like, there's no effort and it just looks unbelievable. So to make this look even more exceptional, I think there's a few things that make Eid look like Eid. Pistachios, rose and gold. So I've gone for a bit of a gold plate and I've got these beautiful rose petals. And I just wanna show you how stunning they are. They're absolutely gorgeous and they're perfect for just sprinkling over the top to create that really exuberant finish. Okay, so in with some more flaked almonds and these can just be sprinkled over the top as well. Finally in with the last sprinkling of pistachios, and I've just coarsely chopped those again. The nuts are essential, really, in this, but you can certainly opt out of sultanas and put in those beautiful sort of dates or apricots. That would work really well. Dried cherries, ooh. Dried cherries would work really well with pistachios. So of course, it's all about the inside. Just make sure you rest it for around 10 minutes. You wanna make sure that phyllo soaks up all that liquid. And I do find that this is the perfect recipe to serve just warm. It doesn't need to be served piping hot. So there you have it. This is my Um Ali, which is a beautiful Egyptian bread and butter pudding. And I just wanna say happy Eid.